In 1898, a man named Fraser Baker dared to dream of equality. Appointed the first black postmaster in a segregated town, he faced threats, violence, and even the burning of his post office. But nothing prepared him for the horror that awaited him on a cold February night. His story, and the fight for justice that never came, is a chilling reminder of America's past and a call to action for its future. Frazier Baker, a school teacher and father of six, became Lake City, South Carolina's first black postmaster in 1897. This federal appointment by President McKinley led Baker and his wife Lavinia to relocate from their majority black hometown of Effingham to the predominantly white Lake City. Facing immediate hostility from Lake City's white residents, Baker found himself under constant attack. Residents filed complaints, accusing him of incompetence, rudeness, and laziness, even criticizing his decision to switch mail deliveries from three times a day to once, a change he made due to safety concerns following repeated threats. Thankfully, a federal investigation cleared Baker's name, revealing the accusations as unfounded. Beyond mere accusations, Baker endured constant threats and violence. He and his acquaintance were once fired upon, the post office was riddled with bullets, and six months later, it was completely burned down. Hoping to ease the tension, authorities relocated the post office to the city's outskirts. Yet, even there, racial hostility wouldn't be outrun. On February 22, 1898, unspeakable tragedy struck. Lavinia awoke to their home, now serving as the post office, engulfed in flames, set ablaze by a white mob. Screaming, she roused Baker as she desperately grabbed their youngest two-year-old Julia and gathered their other five children. In a desperate attempt to save his family, Baker flung open the front door. But before he could move them to safety, a hail of gunfire erupted, striking him in the head and body. He collapsed backwards, his lifeless body falling into the inferno. Lavinia, caught in the crossfire, was shot in the arm, the bullet tragically striking and killing their two-year-old daughter, Julia, who she was holding. Consumed by flames, Baker and Julia perished, while Lavinia, along with her surviving children, managed to escape to a neighbor's house. There, she discovered three of her remaining children gravely wounded from the attack, while miraculously, the two youngest were unharmed. Despite Baker's brutal murder, justice went unserved. In April 1899, federal prosecutors tried 11 white men for their roles in the conspiracy but an all-white jury ensured their acquittal. Seeking safety, Lavinia fled with her children to Boston, Massachusetts. Yet, even there, tragedy persisted. A tuberculosis outbreak in Boston's impoverished black community claimed the life of her youngest, William, in 1908. Heartbreak compounded. Over the next 12 years, Lavinia lost three more children. Finally, in 1942, the death of her last surviving child left her utterly alone. She returned to South Carolina, residing there until her own death in 1947. Fraser Baker and his family's story is a stark reminder of the systemic racism and brutality that plagued the American South in the late 19th century. While Baker bravely served his community and the nation, facing threats and violence, his life was tragically cut short. His story and the resilience of Lavinia, who endured unimaginable loss, stands as a testament to the ongoing fight for equality and justice. Though years have passed, the echoes of their story continue to resonate, urging us to confront the complexities of our past and strive for a future where such injustices never occur again.